what I do eat at home. Wow. It all started when my mom met my dad, and they fell in love, and they had me. Oh, na, na, na. Put your hands in the air if you love me. Hi, good morning to everyone. So today, habang maganda tayo ng panibagong lesson, nayanda ko sa aking mga grade 7 students. Kaya, samahan niyo ako, habang maganda ko to. Punta tayo sa labas at mas maganda kapag makikita na yung lesson na gagawin natin through vlog. Good morning and good day sa lahat. As you can see, nandito lang ako ngayon sa park enjoying the simple breeze of the wind. Can the wind blows, yan, pumapagas pa, simple lang. And it's sign that there is life after all. Especially this time of pandemic. And one of the reasons kung bakit may buhay ang tao because there is movement. For today, we're going to discuss about motion. And to discuss it further, let's just take a walk or simply just take a walk in this ride. I'd like to walk. So, na exercise ka tuwing umaga. Ano yung mga buto-buto mo? Most of all, no? I'd like also to ride in a most love cycle. Because in riding, it makes me feel that I'm alive. This one. So, as I'm going to discuss my lesson today about motion, let's have a simple ride. Come on. And before you ride, make sure you're wearing all the protective gears in your life. Okay? You have your helmet, of course. Siyempre, your gloves. Enjoy the ride. I'm going to discuss to you what is motion all about. Now, I'm done gearing up. So let's ride. Alright. So, all my gears are packed. And I'm ready to go. And come on, let's ride with me as we have a short tour in our lesson called motion. Let's go. So, as I am saying a while ago, motion is a change of position with respect to our reference point. There are three kinds of motion. One is what we call as rectilinear motion. Second, we have circular motion. And the third is rotary motion. When we say rectilinear motion, this is only simply a motion along a straight path. Ito lang. So, walang kalyang liko liko. Sabi nga, takbo ng buhay ko, kanta ng lola ko. It should only be a straight line. And when circular motion, this is exactly turning around a curve. Paikot. Yan. This is turning or circling around. And the axis is what we call as external. The third one is what we call as rotary motion, but I cannot show you that. Only here, what I can show you only is circular motion as I'm going to corner this, these corners here, as I'm going out now in this park, it's called circular motion. Yeah. But anyway, I will show you about rotary motion. One hour later. Okay, and now I'm home. And the only thing that I have I haven't explained is about rotary motion. There's, There's a rotary motion. This is the turning of a body within an external axis. There's a rotary motion. This is the turning of a body within an external axis. And now, best way to do that, I can do it on my motorcycle. I can do a stamp with my motorcycle. But I can do like this. This is what I do it at the home. Wow! Spinning and spinning and spinning around. Oh! Yeah. Relief, snap, snap, relief. Wow! What I do it at the home. This is what I do it at the home. Wow! Spinning and spinning. So everywhere around, there is motion. It can be rectilinear, circular, or rotary motion and those are the ways of how to describe motion but there is a better way of describing it it's not only qualitatively but quantitatively we have a science that deals with the study of motion and we call it kinematics and kinematics came from the word kines greek word which means dynamic objects in motion can describe it quantitatively can say this one is fast, the other one is faster, that one is faster. 
but how do we describe this more precise? One way of describing it precisely is to what we call as speed. Speed is the time rate of motion. Measures speed how measured by speedometer. This one is a speedometer of my bike. Measures actually what we call as instantaneous speed. Because there are two kinds of speed. The one is average and the other one is instantaneous speed. Our speedometer measures instantaneous speed. I'll be giving you different videos and you're going to identify it whether it is rectilinear motion, rotary, or circular motion. I'll be giving you different videos. Identify it whether it is rectilinear motion, rotary, or circular motion. Swing it one, two, three, four, five, six, then wait. Okay, I'll manage to do it. Fine, okay, very good. Look at it, still there. And see, okay, extra challenge, do it for you. All right, so for speed, velocity, distance, and displacement, we will tackle that in the next block.